longevity of certain baseball players has always fascinated me. Hearing about guys like Ricky Henderson and Nolan Ryan still playing baseball at its highest level after 25 and 27 years respectively is remarkable to say the least. One of my first vivid baseball memories took place in September of 1998 when Cal Ripken Jr. decided, ah, uh, it's time for a day off. He took himself out of the Orioles lineup and ended a little streak you may have heard of, 2,632 consecutive games played. This is roughly a decade and a half of baseball. Um, three years prior in 1995, he had surpassed Lou Gehrig's record and many speculated that this would never be broken. The Iron Man witnessed one of the longest standing ovations in sports history. The city of Baltimore shut down, the whole country did to a point. You'd be hard pressed to find a baseball game with higher TV ratings ever since. The 1995 World Series between the Braves and Indians didn't come close at all. No matter how must see Greg Maddox facing off against Albert Bell truly was, it just didn't happen. The same year that Ripken broke Gehrig's unbreakable streak, the Colorado Rockies quietly selected first baseman John Lindsay in the 13th round, 347th overall. John was a two-sport star out of Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and though not the household name that Cal Ripken is, um, I feel like he displayed similar character throughout his career. There was not an ounce of quit in John, and he compiled his own streak. 16 years in the minors before his very first major league call up. Never give up on your dreams. John started his career playing rookie ball with the Arizona League Rockies. In 96, he moved up to the short season Portland Rockies and he spent the following two seasons with the Asheville Tourists, followed by three with the single A advanced Salem Avalanche. After his seventh season in the Rockies organization and never rising as high as double A, John moved on to the Mariners organization. In 2002, he took the field for the San Bernardino Stampede, where he had his best offensive season yet, hitting 297 with 22 home runs and 93 RBIs. It was also this season he'd get a taste of double A with the San Antonio Missions, where he was a mainstay for the next two seasons. Lindsey had a brief stint with the Marlins organization with the Jupiter Hammerheads before deciding to sign into independent baseball. He played in the Can-Am League with the New Jersey Jackals. He had a good year with the Jackals up until he was sidelined after a leg injury in a home plate collision. Getting discouraged and considering retirement, John went home to Mississippi and enrolled in community college to essentially start over. He then got a cold call from Lorenzo Bundy, a former coach in the Rockies organization who knew him well and was about to start as the manager of the Dodgers AAA Las Vegas 51s. John dropped everything and joined the Dodgers for spring training in 2007. He became a fan favorite in Vegas but fell to the Marlins in free agency spending a year as a New Orleans Zephyr. Then he was back to the Dodgers in 2010 assigned to the Albuquerque Isotopes. He wrapped up another good year and was on his way home at the end of the season when he was notified he would join the Dodgers 40-man roster on September 6, 2010. 16 seasons in the making. He made his major league debut on September 8th against the Padres, but didn't get to bat because of a pitching change and the decision to pinch hit Andre Ethier for him. The next day, he finally got to bat. What a story. John Lindsay making his major league debut with a bat in his hands. Actually, it was announced in yesterday's game, but was removed before he ever stepped into the batter's box. 33-year-old from Hattiesburg, Mississippi. He has spent 16 years in the minor leagues. This is his first opportunity to hit in the big leagues. Today, when at least 30 members of Lindsay's family and friends pulled in from Hattiesburg, about a seven-hour drive, they said. His father's a school teacher. Said they were going to make it a field trip. This is a guy who was drafted way back in 1995 on the Colorado Rockies. Skies it. Right center field. Play is made by Bourgeois. Run after 16 years in a professional uniform. John Lindsay can say he's made it to the show. 
In the following series, just a dozen or so at bats later, tragedy struck. This would indeed be John's final bitter moment as a major leaguer. The following season he was back with the Tigers organization as a Toledo mud hen, but in two seasons there he failed to get a call up. His last affiliated game was on April 30th, 2013. All in all, John logged 21 seasons full of ups and downs, showing perseverance, but perhaps most importantly, an infectious positive attitude that made him a great teammate and a guy you couldn't help but get behind. Here's to you, John.